In today's segment, we're going to talk about the difference between powder and liquid zeolite. First, let's talk about what zeolite is. Zeolites are formed when lava and volcanic ash come in contact with the sea and have a chemical reaction with the sodium in salt water. It creates a molecule with this cage-like structure and negative charge. This negative charge acts like a magnet in our body to attract heavy metals and toxins into the cage structure and trap them, like so. The zeolite then travels out of the body, removing these toxins and heavy metals. The important aspect here is that the zeolite molecule is never broken down in the body and remains intact. The acid in the body's digestive system is not strong enough to destroy the cage-like structure. The zeolites are solid, solids in nature. There are only two things that can destroy the structure. Intense heat, roughly 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit, seeing as it's a volcanic mineral, and the other is pure hydrochloric acid. There have been many scientific studies done on the health benefits of zeolite. All of them were done on the real zeolite, which is the powdered form of the mineral. Some of these studies show an amazing effect that zeolite have on fighting cancer. An event, because of the, the results of these studies, an inventor tried to create a drug which could be directly injected into, the tu into tumors by liquefying the zeolite. In the process of doing this, he exposed the zeolite to hydrochloric acid and intense heat, which destroys the cage-like structure, turning it into a liquid. A multi-level marketing company licensed this patent to be able to market something that no one else had. Since there were never any scientific studies done on the liquid, they decided to call the liquid zeolite, uh, call, call it a liquid zeolite in order to utilize the scientific studies done on the powder zeolite as support to market their product. Remember, this was supposed to be an injectable drug. The inventor never claimed that it was a zeolite any longer and never claimed that it was ingestible. I've spoken with the inventor many times and he admits to those statements. In order to prove that the beneficial cage was destroyed, we sent the liquid to our quality control lab in order to test it. When we send our zeolite powder samples, they must expose it to pure hydrochloric acid, which is called a full digestive analysis, in order to break it down to its elemental level to find out the levels of all the elements in it. When we sent the liquid, we asked them not to prep it and just to analyze what was in the bottle. They came back with a whole spectrum of elements which originally made up the zeolite structure and would not have been detectable had this cage remained intact. I need to make mention here that all zeolites can have heavy metals in them in two different ways. The first is that they are, ne they are neg negatively charged and will attract the heavy metals in the ground and fill the cage. This leaves the possibility that the cation exchange in the body might release heavy metals, and even if it doesn't, there still isn't enough room in the cage to be very effective in removing heavy metals from the body since the cage is full. 99% of all the zeolite mines in the world are mined for commercial purposes, and many have this level of heavy metals in the cage. Almost all of the zeolites mined in the United States fall into this category and should not be used for human consumption. The second way that heavy metals can be in a zeolite is that they're part of the zeolite structure and locked into the walls of this structure. The zero, um, since the body cannot destroy the structure and the zeolite remains intact in the body, these metals are never released. That is the category where zeohealth zeolite falls. I mention this because the liquid companies try and use the fact that the cage is full in powdered zeolites to try and get people to buy theirs because they use the lie that their process has cleaned the cage. As we've already discussed, the, the, the process that they use actually destroys the zeolite cage, and any heavy metals that were safely locked away in the walls of the cage are now released from the process and bioavailable to be absorbed by the body. This means that it's very, it is very possible that they're claiming to remove the heavy metals from the body when they're actually doing the opposite. There are a few different types of so-called liquid zeolites on the market. All of, the sci all of them use the scientific studies to market their product, which were done on the powdered mineral. They try to manipulate people who they believe are dumb by telling us that the powdered mineral doesn't get to the cell level and that is why we should use the liquid because that somehow does. The reality is that none of the scientific studies showing zeolite effective against cancer and with other health benefits would come out positive if they didn't get to the cell level since all of the studies were done using the powdered mineral. There are also other companies claiming to have so-called liquid zeolites which are saying that it is the powdered mineral suspended in liquid. The problem with this is that the amount of zeolite that was shown effective in the studies was approximately 15 grams a day. 
This is what 15 grams of zeolite looks like. You're lucky if there's one gram in zeol of zeolite in a whole bottle of those liquid suspensions. That's like saying you need to take two Tylenol, and by licking one, you're saying that you took the Tylenol. It's just not enough to do the job. Zeohealth Limited is the oldest zeolite supplement manufacturer in the United States. We spent over five years in the mid-1990s testing samples from mines from all over the world and perfecting our zeolite for human consumption, hiring world-renowned zeolite specialists from all over the world to work with us. In 2004, the company that licensed the patent for the multi-level marketing company tried to buy our company, which we rejected. If the powdered mineral is not effective, then why did they want to buy our company? Why are they using the scientific studies from the powdered mineral to market their product? The bottom line is that they are a marketing company, and that is what they are professionals at. They create stories to sell product, whether true or not. Their job is to sell product. The other liquid companies jump on the bandwagon as if it was a gold rush to sell nonsense on the coattails of, of this MLM wave.